Oh boy. You two okay? You okay, Satan? That was quite a fall. I've had worse, but I can tell <laughs> when I'm not wanted. Come on, Jürgen. Oh, thank wickedness. That nightmare is finally over. Let's go back to hell. Oh, right. Well, they're gone. <laughs> that was quite the fall, Satan. You okay? I've had worse. <laughs> oh, that nightmare is finally over. Let's go back to hell, Jürgen. Oh, great. Okay. Crap, I still need that egg. Where the heck am I going to get an egg? No, these are too delicious to waste. Darn it. The suction coefficient all egg. checked out. I just hope the inside scrubbers hold up. I know where to get an egg. Maybe. Possibly. If less the game doesn't let me walk over there. The, oh, the building the truck was blocking? I didn't think of that. I mean, I probably would eventually, but it would take time. Time we don't have since Max is currently destroying the entire city. Or just that one street. That works too. What is this building anyway? Oh, it doesn't look like I can actually go over there. That was... Disappointing. Uh, now, where'd that subsonic trepanation drill run off to? I guess I should head into the lab? It's the only place uh, left to go. Yeah, this is a little lame. What do I do with this espresso? Who needs espresso beans? I'm riding the natural high of mayhem and mystery solving. It's my government-issued jar of chocolate-covered espresso beans. Everybody in the city got one to help us stay awake against Max's creepy spores. They were giving out cans of Head Rush brand energy drink, but it all got recalled on account <laughs> of the high fructose corn syrup and tiny shards of broken glass. But mostly the corn syrup. Oh my god, I know where we- Mr. Featherly, I need an egg! <laughs> Wait, the chicken, yeah. Please press or say the number of the question you want to ask. Viruses. If we could disguise the DeSoto, we Please! Mr. Featherly? I am at your service, Sam. I need an egg. You wouldn't know where I could get an egg, Mr. Featherly. Oh, I see how this works. Everyone assumes that just because I happen to be poultry, of course I know where to score them some eggs. It's for a good cause. <sighs> Very well. Bear in mind that this is strictly a one-time deal. Noted. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Me, 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 me. Unique New York, unique New York, unique New York. What? <clears throat> <clears throat> Wait, aren't you a male chicken? <sighs> What's the problem? I can't do this with everyone watching me. I don't think they're watching you, Mr. Featherly. There's a giant monster attacking the city. It's good of you to say so, Sam, but my magnetism and stage presence are undeniable. I simply cannot do this until everyone turns around and gives me some privacy. I simply can't help you until you get everyone to turn around and stop watching me. Got it. Okay, so Roy. Very well. Keep me updated. Yes, sir. Turn around. Well, would you look at that, Agent Super Bowl? I see nothing of interest, sir. You were only turned around for like five seconds. That was enough, sir. I saw more than you can imagine. Worlds within worlds. <laughs> I need you to turn around, Super Bowl. Any luck yet, Sam? Uh, Giant Max. There's got to be some way to turn Max back to quote unquote normal. Don't worry about that, Sam. Just concentrate on getting Max to eat you. With Sybil yeah. and Dr. Norrington's help, you boys will be back to stopping crimes and wasting my time before you know it. Yeah! Yes! Brain surgery on a creature as large as this has almost a 0.72% chance of success. It's more than zero. 
I said zero. You said 0 0.72. Giant Max. Never thought it would be this hard to get Max to eat something. He's probably still full after eating the Bronx last night. Crap. He's bound to come looking on our street any second now. Just get out there and try to look tender and succulent. Yeah, yeah. So uh, about the dimensional destable. Why is that dial spinning? Why are you still working on that destabilizer, Mama Bosco? You got your body back. I'm still trying to find a way to get Dr. Norrington back to his own dimension. Oh. Yog Sagoth is my lord and master always. But I think we could use some time apart. So far, I've only Fair. been able to manage quick jumps of around 15 seconds or so. Sounds neat. I want to watch. Oh. Okay, that, that got rid of him temporarily. Hello, and welcome to the Creature Obliteration and Punishment Society. Obliteration and Punishment? You've got it all wrong. We're trying to help. We will. Okay, guys, uh, turn around. Look, you guys, it's Ada Lovelace. We're sorry. We're unable to turn around or move for any reason. Curse my lack of swivel attachments. Couldn't we just turn them around? Look, you guys, it's Adel. We curse my. Uh, how am I going to get them to turn around? <laughs> I I don't. Okay, feather. He's gone. Very well. Keep me updated. Yes, sir. Turn around. Is that a trio of time-traveling mariachis at the front door? Again? It's much too early for my birthday. Whoops, my mistake. It was just a bunch of regular mariachis. God dang it. Oh, he's back. See anything familiar? Just the usual screaming void past the brink of infinity. We'll have to try again later. Uh, if he can take it. Any luck yet, Sam? So, uh, about the spores. Those flaming Max head things don't seem to be getting into the lab. For the time being, anyway. I'm playing a recording on a super ultrasonic frequency that keeps them away. What recording is it? What, what is it? Why don't... I can see you! Oh! Uh, I wondered why I was subconsciously being driven into a murderous rage. <laughs> spores. So why were you warning us not to take a nap or read political blogs again? because of the spores, you see. Creatures such as the one your ex-partner turned into turned them out like vegans from a liberal arts college. They are linked to the host, and they feed off the psychic energy of the city's nightmares. Oh. It's all very gross, but perfectly natural for an elder god. You should have seen me during my awkward phase. I was putting out so many spores, it's a miracle I didn't go blind. God. All right. You want me to point a gun at them? You know what? Let's do it. I don't need to shoot anybody. It's enough that they know I have a gun. God dang it. See, that, that doesn't work. I'm going to get you guys to turn around. Hmm. I got to think of something in here. Got to be something I can do. Me. Psychic licks. Psychic powerless. Just Sam. No Max. How do you guys keep that flame going so long, anyway? We are fueled by the inextinguishable flame of human imagination! And kerosene. I don't see any kerosene. Where's the supply line? That's none of your damn- Uh-uh. Nobody steals my little buddy's catchphrase. She <laughs> just smacked him! If Look. I could get enough speed, I bet I could jump this thing straight into- Sorry, Sam. The modifications I've made to the DeSoto make it perfect for traveling through Max's innards, but it can't travel on land. Oof! That was quite a kick! Sorry to hear that. That... Ah... Uh, no, shoot them! I have an idea. Hey, hey little buddy. Mmm, corn dogs. They're good and good for you. Thank you. Ah! Sybil, you're fine. Okay, I gotta put this in the the, the thing. Ow. 
Jeez. That worked. Will that count as the wiener? <laughs> or substitute. <laughs> Sibyl. Sibyl, you need to calm down. Sibyl. She's freaking out. But now I still need to get that egg. Uh, hey, look, a back. Oh, I can use the back alley. Sal? Ah, uh, never mind. No, I guess I can't. It's just Sal back there. Sorry, Sal. Use ridiculous sized pothole that I've been using. There's nothing out here. The only thing left is probably I have to do something in the lab. I wonder if Wardrobe. I can have the city is destroyed. Nope. I have to think of something. That Mr. Featherly has to make an egg somehow, even though he is a rooster, technically. That destabilizer turned out to be a huge letdown. Still a nice conversation piece, though. Max or no Max, if that monster threatens my new body, he's going down. You know, that's a, a fair point. I know, have them turn around. Use your hands. <laughs> What if, what if I put this box in front of them? No, these are too delicious to waste. Espresso? I'd better keep these for when this case gets really boring later on. Okay, we gotta use that thing Any again. Any luck yet, Sam? Stabilizer. Oh, turn around. Uh, would you guys mind giving Mr. Featherly a little privacy? Is he going to do something fascinating and disgusting? Yes. We have got to see this. For, uh, science. <laughs> what? God dang it. I want to see you use that dimensional destabilizer again. In due time, my boy. Traveling there hasn't done us any good so far. Perhaps if we were to hold on to something. Ah, very well. Let's try it again. Hmm. Wait. I think I bring back like something like a sheet I can put over the cops. I could use a sheet right now. Very well. Keep me updated. Yes, sir. Okay, I need you to turn around. Oh boy, another interesting thing. Now stay that way. This is growing tiresome, sir. Could you just turn around for me, buddy? Oh boy, another. God dang it. Okay. Could you take these corn I'd better keep these for when this case gets really boring later on. I wonder if I could get one of the cops to take video of Mr. Featherly laying an egg. It'd be a viral video sensation on the internet. Wait, what? Please press or say the number of the question you want to ask. Viruses. I hope you guys are being careful. I hear there's a particularly nasty virus going <gasps> around. I swear I have been careful. It was only that one time. That what? Never be too careful, guys. You better run a scan or something. We're sorry. This will require us to go through a full reboot. We would be unavailable for approximately 30 to 60 seconds. We'll find some way to manage without you. There we Shut go. Down commencing. Will I dream? Just hurry it up. Okay, they're shut down. See anything familiar? Just the usual screaming. Okay, you guys gotta go again. Any luck yet, Sam? Use the thing. One more time with that disable. Ah, oh, very well. Go, 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 go. Okay, turn around. Very well. Keep me. Ooh, is that a rooster laying an egg? What? Where? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Finally. It's going to take forever to get my figure back. Thanks, Super Bowl. I desperately wanted to see that, sir. Ask him if he'll lay another one. Maybe some other time. <laughs> well, that worked. I really wanted to see that, sir. What the heck? I'm sorry, but you need privacy. 
Well, we have the egg. Let's go. We have to go bind it. Also, Sybil's freaking out again. It's probably not good for her health right now. Egg. You know what? I wonder what he says about the egg. It sure was nice and disturbing of Mr. Featherly to donate his egg to the war effort. Okay. Egg. to rule them all and one egg for binding. Nerd! What? Now, how am I going to find a way to heat this up? The potion is completed, my brothers! We must feed the host. Bless it, corn dogs! Oh, Last look, kerosene! Stinking parasite! Thanks, Maxes. It's beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's do it. How do we get inside? Okay, everybody, put your shoes on. It's time to leave. What? It's a great plan. <laughs> What? Disgusting. You'll eat it. Paperweight, don't let any of it get in my mouth. Uh -oh. Mametron. Hey, Mametrons, I found a suspicious looking corn dog just lying here. It's like lying in a puddle of carnival vomit. T17 to base. <laughs> Commencing bomb disposal. Gotta get that boom, boom, boom. All right, let's do this. Time to get eaten by Mathulu. How do you get in? What? Starring Sam! Oh my god! With Sybil! And Mr. Paperweight! And Dr. Norrington as Yogg Sagoth! This game is just what? The city! <laughs> oh my god, that dares! Not sleep. Oh, there was all the intro. Ah. Oh. Oh my God. Let's do it. Take us in, Mametron. Sal? You got this guy! Drop it in! And down the hatch. Based on the cherished 80s adult film, totally into Max. <laughs> oh my god, I love this game. I think we're in. Oh god! Wait, where are we? Well, here we are in Max's stomach. Ruminate, ruminate. Trespassers will be digested. Ah, oh, cram it, flame brain. Shut up. GI to brain, GI to brain. Trespassers in the stomach. They look quite delicious. Fascinating. The psychic feedback from the dark dimension has planted an image in our minds, causing us to perceive the creature's organs as if they were an actual kitchen. Oh, well, this is pretty much what Max's insides have always looked like. Yeah. We've got to get up to the brain so we can get out of here, Sam. If we're gonna save Max, we can't waste any time. Fair enough. Plus, I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh, I'm sorry. So, uh, there is a there's a corn now craving corn dog. Now craving. More corn dogs. One is too many. One hundred is never enough. Fair enough. Refrigerator. This must be where Max stores all the nutritious food that enters his gaping maw before he digests it. I wonder if I should open it. He still got a bottle of milk he drank in 1976. That uh, answers that question. Nope, we're not opening that. Hmm, the vent? Looks like this vent goes directly to Max's nose, so he can smell food while he's digesting it. Biology ah. is disgustingly fascinating. Okay, so I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure I have to use the, the espresso beans here or something. Hmm, food processor. This must be how Max digests stuff. Like the tender morsels of wayward travelers. 
I'm an elder god, and even I found that creepy. <laughs> uh, oven, tube, elevator! If I remember my high school biology, this tube leads up to the brain. Why isn't it moving? He just ate us, so he must be going into a food coma. That's not good. Even when he's not a colossal monster, Max's food comas can last for weeks. Oh boy. Okay, let's try that. Let's just talk to everybody. How are we going to get out of here and up to the brain? He's still trying to digest the DeSoto dog, and that's just empty calories. We need to find a way to get a rush of blood or endorphins or something up to his gray matter. I have an idea. So, remember those beans we have? Dr. Norrington, what can we expect to see in here now that Max has become a horrible, twisted abomination escaped from the mouth of madness? No offense. None taken. Internally, your compatriot should look the same as he always has, just more tentacly. We say the truly bizarre stuff for the outside of our bodies. Oh. Because it's scarier that way. Fair enough. Don't you all have 18 hearts? How weird. It's not a good thing if the elder god is creeped out. Okay, uh, use jar of food processor? Hope this works. There's enough caffeine in here to make even a film blogger get up and move. There we what go. Uh-oh. Hang on, everybody. Well, that worked. Use the tool! Ladies and horrible monsters first. And away we go. Not you, not Max. But Wait. I'm a horrible monster! Bye, Flaming Head. <laughs> so disappointed. Last stop, the cerebral cortex. I suppose that Max's brain always looks like a living room, yes? From the 50s? Well, Max is host all kinds of weird parasites, and he likes to be a good host. Fair uh, enough. Ha! Well, there's your problem. Greed galloping uh... Golgi and lipstick on a Vespa with a leather-bound day planner. It's mind worms, right? I bet Featherly 50 bucks it was mind worms. It's a tumor. It's a tumor. Yep. Damn it! <laughs> seems to be teeming with dark energy as well. Still, once we've removed it, your friend should pop right down to normal again. They're assuming that's what you really want. Why is it glowing? Sam, come here and take a closer look. You know, you're right. I didn't talk to the foot. Can I go back down? To the feet. Stomach. Sam, we've got to take care of this tumor. You can go exploring later. But I wanted to talk to the flaming headed Max. Oh, hey, look, flaming headed Max. What part of Max's body do you spore guys come from anyway? We are spawned in the screaming well of flames, nestled deep within the chest of the colossal beast, each beat of its heart sending a torrent of blood to combine with brilliant arcs of psychic energy, each beat of its heart forming a copy of the horrifying visage you see before you now. I'm skeptical. Okay, okay, it's the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Punch the tumor. No, that's a, I don't know. That's, I think it's a bad idea. This low-tech optic nerve will give me a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to literally see the world through Max's eyes. Terrifying. This must be Max's auditory nerve. Huh. Nothing but static. I guess there's nothing around Max right now worth hearing. Fireplace? Cozy. Feel the warmth, Sam. Does it make you drowsy? No, not really. How about now? <laughs> Still no. Don't touch the trauma fed with Eldritch psychic energy. Door to the br what? Uh, giant tumor here, Sam. Focus. All right, I'll punch it. I bet if I touch it here, he'll start speaking with an Australian accent. Yo, it shocked me. The brain synapses yeah. are firing at an alarming rate. The voltage is quite high. Oh, uh, whoa. Ah, get away, fake Max. Do you find my warmth alarming, Sam? The freaky creature is correct, Sam. We won't be able to operate until you can cut off the power to the brain. But... The medulla oblongata acts as kind of a circuit breaker for the brain. If you can cut it off, we can get to work. Okay, then, experts. Okay. Where do I find the medulla oblongata? Perhaps behind this door? Oh. You know, you're probably right. Also, no, he doesn't want a butt spore near his face. Sure. <laughs> yeah. We're going back to the stomach, guys. Sam, we've got to take care of this tumor. You can go. Why can't I go down to the stomach? I want to go back to stomach. 
Well, it's books. Max's collection of ideas for novels, in audiobook on vinyl form. Glad to see he's keeping track of them. He's always coming up with these things, but I assume they just flew out of his tiny, oversaturated brain. Oh, I know that feeling so well. The Ellie Win Whitney Dilemma. The Happenstance at Ghastly Manor. The killing comes to Murdersburg. And Are You There Yet? Great Bear Spirit. Oh, Are You There, Great Bear Spirit? It's Max's heartfelt Inuit coming of age story. Are you there, Great Bear Spirit? It's me, Kanutzwak. Can, can, can I take all of them? That's Max's gripping historical fiction I thriller, can. The Eli Whitney Dilemma. Also, coincidentally, the name of Max's experimental fusion jazz band. I'm taking them. The Happenstance at Ghastly Manor. It's a loosely autobiographical story of psychic horror. Autobiographical? What? A Killing Comes to Murdersburg. Hey, it's Flint. A Flint paper mystery. Oh, this is the hard-boiled noir fan fiction Max was telling me about. All right. Okay, let's uh, open this door. Whoa. Where did they? Whoa. Really? Oh, I'm back in the stomach. Did everybody get all staticky and find themselves in the stomach again? I detected a spike in psychic energy coming from the monster. Darn it. Is everyone okay? We appear to be in some sort of game room. You are now at the mercy of the brain, Butterball. Ah, oh, crap. Max must be using his psychic powers to keep us from entering the brain. Yes, they're very fussy at this age. He's just looking for attention. Better to ignore him. Okay, that's dumb. But I've got a better idea. If we could put enough electrical current through Max's body, it hmm. temporarily short out his powers and let us inside the brain. But that would take a voltage of at least 46 helijoules. The only place in the city with that much power is the electric plant down in Battery Park. Then we've got to find some way to get control of hmm. Max's body and take him downtown. All right, so we're going to need also got to talk to you. I got to talk to you. I got to talk to you. Talk to you. Things going down here, Imposter Max. The house needs more corn dogs. Tender, yielding pork, lovingly wrapped in golden cornmeal. So sweet and so sinful. God dang I it! Had enough, buddy. Now I want a corn dog. Ah! Do I have anything I can? Wait, wait. Can I? I, I don't want to do that. Hey, right, go back up the tube. Whoop! Whoop! I use the phone. It must be a cellular phone. <laughs> that was so bad. That was so bad. Must be a cellular phone. This must be for Max's inner monologue. Still analog for the warm, rich sounds you can't get from digital. <laughs> I guess it would help if I actually put a record on this thing. I wonder where I could get uh something like that. Professor Robert von Ungwen flashed his ID card at the receptionist of the National Institute of Historical Science. Hmm. The Professor von Ungwen? hissed the receptionist. World famous expert in pre industrial farming implements? Thank God you've come! Suddenly, in walked Dr. Daniel Delinament, head of the Institute's Ancient Mysteries Department. Robert, you may be my arch rival and nemesis, but only you can crack the code of the cotton gin. Okay, it's not that long. I was wondering how long this is gonna go. We'll listen to each one. Zack ran down the hallway. The vision's coming fast and furious now. A dumb waiter spraying torrents of pus. An ocelot wearing later hosen. A beautiful red-haired woman gets a paper cut on her thumb. But when she tries to use the spray antiseptic, the bottle starts screaming at her in Tagalog. Whatever the visions meant, one thing was clear. Something very strange had happened in room 415. Also, don't worry, guys. I'm, I'm saving the last Zach's one. His heart was pounding as he put his ear against the door. Wait. Shuffling noises from the other side. He wasn't alone in the house. There's more? His hand trembled as he wrapped it around the handle, then summoned every ounce of his strength and courage to raise the axe above his head. 
The door splintered as he swung the axe again and again, ignoring the terrifying shrieks of, Why are you doing this? from the other side of the door. Oh. Zack ran down the hallway. The vision's coming fast and furious now. A dumbwaiter spraying torrents of pus. An ocelot wearing lederhosen. A beautiful red-haired woman gets a paper cut on her thumb. But when she tries to use the spray antiseptic, the bottle starts screaming at her in Okay, salad. it's just, it's just two lines. Whatever the visions meant. It's two lines. Robert turned the crank one last time, and the ghost of Zachary Taylor slowly faded away. Remember what's on the 14 cent first class air mail stamp from 1922, the specter droned before disappearing? The St. Louis Arch, screamed Sophia in excitement. That means we finally solved the mystery. Robert shook his head sadly and spat. No, Sophia, it means you are the long lost clone of Betsy Ross. What? And a traitor. <gasps> Professor Robert von Ungwen flashed his ID card at the receptionist of the National Institute of Historical Science. The Professor von Ungwen? Okay, next one. It's just two for each one. If this is fine. We'll save the, we're saving the best for last. Luck wiped the last remaining icor and blubber from his carving knife, then sat down on the one patch of ice not covered by walrus intestines. Why so sad? asked Paco, his faithful deer tick companion. It was a clean kill. I know, sought Kinuchluk, but there was no one here to see it. <laughs> huh? What? What's going on? Knutch Luck was 13, and his body was going through a strange transformation. Hair had begun to pop up in weird places, and a line oh of razor-sharp quills had sprouted along his spine. Wait, what? Why so sad, asked Paco. These changes are perfectly normal for an Inuit Ra your age. Razor-sharp quills? Knutch Luck. But I was hoping for leathery bat-like wings. This one gets a very big emotion out of Max, apparently. But now, for the best one of all. I think he made Max laugh. <laughs> Flint Paper leaned back in his chair and poured himself another fifth of pineapple schnapps. He just killed a great white shark with his bare hands and was yeah. about to skin it to upholster another different chair when she walked in. She was tall. Real tall, and pretty too. Plus, she <laughs> had two eyes, which were both locked on Flint. What happened next, Max? You've gotta help me, Flint Paper, she screamed hysterically, sneezing into a frilly handkerchief while thinking about shoes and decorating. My father, the professor, has been kidnapped. If you don't find him, and fast, then the Belgians will get the plans for the Mega Neutron Bomb. Flint Paper Not again. snaps in surprise. Mega neutron bomb. Even I can't handle something that big. For this, I'll need to call in the big guns. My best friend Max. <gasps> what what about Sam? What about Sam? Flint paper leaned back in his chair okay. and poured himself another fifth of pineapple schnapps. Bye. He just killed a great white shark with his bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> what a line to leave on. Looks like some kind of exercise room. For the feet? Oh, hey, Sam. I think I found the uh, manual override for the light controls here. Oh. I had to rewire some of the nerve endings, but now all I have to do is walk on this treadmill and we can make Max walk wherever we want. Great uh, work, Sybil. That's about the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Hmm? What was that? I didn't say that out loud. Consecrated Kreskin on a communion wafer. She's reading my mind. I'm not reading your mind, uh. Sam. The brain must be broadcasting your oh. thoughts or something. Just ignore it so we can get to work. Come tell me when you're ready to start moving. Okay, so apparently legs are a workout. Okay, Flaming Head. Got any bright ideas, Fake Max? No time for talk, dog man. It's time to move, move, move. Gotta feel that burn so you can get a good night's sleep. All right, anything? Hmm, what is that? Visible Max. Oh, that's convenient. 
You are a, you here. You are here, Marker. All right. Uh, use free weights. Free weights? There are only free while supplies last. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Sleep. <laughs> nah, medicine ball. So, Fomax, what are you doing here? Not much, brah. You know, just getting a few hours of reps in before I get out into the city. Working the glutes is most important, even when you don't have any. Wow, Max is looking pretty buff. Would it be too weird if I asked him to turn around? Uh, yeah, man, so I can tell I'm boring you, so I'll just, uh, I'll just let you get to sleep. <laughs> Sam! Okay. Medicine balls. Come on, Sam, you're inside Max's body. They're medicine balls. Think. Think. Nope, I got nothing. <laughs> They're medicine balls. The sparring dummy inside Max is in a lot better shape than the one on the outside. He has already ripped out the intestines, though. That's awful cute. Hold up! What was this over here? Can I even interact with it? No. Oh, can I? There it is. I knew Max's immune system was tough, but I never knew it was mixed martial arts tough. Okay, Sybil. Hi, Sybil. God, she's huge. What was that? Whoa. Oh, what is she carrying? A baby or a yak calf? <laughs> Sam! Excuse me? Are you calling me that? Uh. That doesn't cover it. Come to think of it, a circus tent wouldn't cover it. I'll have you Sam! know that I am carrying the miracle of life, the promise of a new generation, and the affirmation of hope. What's your excuse? Oh! <laughs> oh! So, about the pregnancy. I think what you're doing is a really wonderful, beautiful thing, Sybil. As long as I don't have to see your mutant human statue offspring. It's very noble of you to bring a new life into the world and usher it to greatness. Or at least usher it into a dark basement or a carnival freak show to live out its freakish existence unseen by normal people. I'm not helping, am I? Nope. <laughs> Sam, shut up! I've changed, Sybil. I totally get the whole parenthood thing now. You do? Tax deductions. Nice. I don't think you understand at all. <laughs> uh, tax deductions. So about the, the mind reading. It's not my fault, Sybil. The brain is broadcasting my thoughts. Maybe it's better this way, now that I know what you really think. No, no, it's twisting my thoughts. I think you're just as lovely as the day I met you. Don't think that. Don't think that. <laughs> 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 so about the mind reading. Can't you see what's happening, Sybil? The brain is trying to turn us against each other. Maybe you're right, Sam. We should work together. But not too close together, because a gravitational pull could flatten me like a pancake. Sam! <laughs> so about the treadmill. Why don't you hop on that treadmill? Oh, so you're not even trying to be subtle with the fat comments anymore. No! Come on, Sybil. It's going to take all of us working together to save Max. And by the looks of it, you could be doing the work of five or six of us at least. Ugh! You just don't understand what I'm going through, bringing new life into the world. Well, getting her to help is turning out to be at least as painful as giving birth. Sam! <laughs> Sam, she can hear you! <laughs> Why don't you remember this? Come on, Sybil, use the treadmill, for Max's sake. For Max's sake, how convenient. It has nothing to do with my losing weight. Well, a few dozen pounds couldn't hurt. Ugh, men. You just don't understand what I'm going through. Uh, treadmill. After all the great work you've done rewiring the treadmill, you should be the one to operate it. Well. I hope she doesn't break it. Never mind. All right, I'll I'm see out. You around, Sybil. Maybe I can find something to make her less hysterical. Ugh! Can you believe this guy? I find the entire situation to be very contrived and misogynistic. <laughs> okay, I'll Fine, use it. I'll do it myself. Oh, so you don't think I can handle it? What? Gee, these cases would be so much easier if I didn't have to deal with other people all the time. I'll have you know that I am every bit as capable as any overweight man or dog. Okay, Sybil. I'll let you handle it. J Sam, just... Get, like Ranger Gold says, Sam, just do what you usually do and stop thinking! <laughs> That's what I'm for. What does this lead to, anyway? I'm getting out of here. 